Where does the normal line to the parabola given by y equals negative x squared plus x at the point negative two comma negative six intersect the parabola a second time? To better understand this question, let's look at the graph below. First we have the graph of the parabola and we are given the point negative two comma negative six, this point here. Notice how the green line is tangent to the parabola at that point and the red line is a normal line because it's perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. So the question is, where does this red normal line intersect the parabola a second time? Meaning, what are the coordinates of this point over here in the fourth quadrant? So what we'll have to do is determine the equation of the normal line and then determine the second point of intersection. However, to find the equation of the normal line, we'll first have to find the slope of the tangent line by evaluating the derivative of y equals negative x squared plus x at x equals negative two. This will give us a slope with a tangent line. And since the tangent line is perpendicular to the normal line, we know the slope of the normal line is going to be the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So to begin, let's determine the derivative so that we can then determine the slope of the tangent line and then the slope of the normal line. So we are given y equals negative x squared plus x and therefore y prime, the derivative, is equal to negative two x plus one. And now we'll evaluate this derivative at x equals negative two to determine the slope of the tangent line. So y prime of negative two is equal to negative two times negative two plus one, which is equal to four plus one or five. So now we know m equals five is the slope of the tangent line at the point negative two comma negative six. Which means the slope of the normal line is going to be the negative reciprocal of five. Five is equal to five over one, and the negative reciprocal of five over one is negative one-fifth. M equals negative one-fifth is the slope of the normal line at the point negative two comma negative six. Now we have enough information to determine the equation of the normal line because we know the slope of the line, and we also know the point negative two comma negative six is a point on the normal line. So let's find the equation of the normal line first in point slope form, and then we'll write the equation in slope intercept form. So in point slope form, the equation of the normal line is y minus y one, but y one is negative six, minus negative six simplifies to y plus six, equals m, which is negative one fifth, times the quantity x minus x one, which gives us x minus negative two, which simplifies to x plus two. So this is the equation of the normal line in point slope form. But let's solve for y and write it in slope intercept form. So next we'll distribute negative one fifth. Y plus six equals negative one fifth x minus two fifths. Next we will subtract six on both sides. Simplifying, we have y equals negative one fifth x and then negative two-fifths minus six is equivalent to negative two-fifths minus 30-fifths, which gives us negative 32-fifths or minus 32-fifths. So now that we have the equation of the normal line, we need to find the second intersection point of this line and the parabola given by y equals negative x squared plus x, which means we need to solve the system of equations y equals negative x squared plus x, y equals negative one fifth x minus 32 fifths. Let's go ahead and solve this using substitution. When we solve this, we already know we are gonna have one x value equal to negative two because that was a point of intersection that was given to us. Solving the system using substitution, we have negative x squared plus x equals negative one fifth x minus 32 fifths. Let's go ahead and set one side of the equation equal to zero. Let's add x squared to both sides and subtract x on both sides. Simplifying on the left, we now have zero. On the right, we have x squared. And then negative one fifth x minus one x gives us minus six fifths x, and then we have minus 32 fifths. 
Let's go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by five so that we don't have fractions in the equation. Five times zero is zero. Five times x squared is five x squared minus five times six fifths x is six x minus 32 fifths times five is 32. Let's go ahead and see if we can solve this by factoring. The factors of five x squared are five x and x. And now we need to place the factors of negative 32 in the second positions so that the sum of the inner and outer product is negative six x. This is not an easy factoring problem, but if we place minus 16 in the first binomial and plus two in the second binomial, notice the outer product is 10 x, the inner product is negative 16 x, which does give a sum of negative six x. The product on the right is equal to zero. When five x minus 16 is equal to zero or x plus two is equal to zero, which occurs where x is equal to 16 fifths or x equals negative two. Now notice x equals negative two is the x coordinate of the point of intersection that was given to us. So now we know for the second point of intersection, this one here in the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate is 16 fifths. Let's go ahead and find the y coordinate. So again, we now know the second point of intersection has an x coordinate of 16 fifths. Now to find the y coordinate, we have a choice. This point of intersection is on both the parabola and the normal line. Therefore, we can substitute 16 fifths for x into the equation for the parabola or, or into the equation for the normal line, which is y equals negative one fifth x minus 32 fifths. Let's go ahead and use the equation for the normal line. Substituting 16 fifths for x, we have y equals negative one fifth times 16 fifths minus 32 fifths. Simplifying, we have negative 16 20 fifths minus 32 fifths. The common denominator is gonna be 25. So let's multiply the numerator and denominator of 32 fifths by five here, giving us minus 160 20 fifths. Y is equal to negative 176 20 fifths. The point where the normal line intersects the parabola a second time, which is this point here in the fourth quadrant, is 16 fifths comma negative 176 25 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.